Hey everybody, this is Major League Hats, and on today's episode, we are going to do a little educational video, because I know I got a little bit of a young fan dynamic uh, in my subscriber set, so I just wanted to do a little special video for them today. But before we get started, I have a small YouTuber shout out to do. The small YouTuber shout out goes to my buddy, Michael Moll, M-O-L-L. -L. If you guys could go check him out on YouTube, I'll provide his link down at the bottom and give him a subscribe, I would appreciate that. Michael does a lot of creative things. He also is into hats. He's a Dodgers fan. He's a Reds fan. But I just love what he sent me the other day, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So without further ado, I am going to show you and read to you what he sent me the other day. So I hope you guys enjoy. Check this out. So starting up from the top on my left side, it starts with, Sergio, it's time that you learned about money and the importance of it. Sergio, no! And he's going to go put money into a new era fitness machine size seven and a half. I thought that, I thought that was the funniest thing. The fact that somebody actually took the time to make like a small little comic of me, I just, you know, I've always told you guys, I, I have a thick skin and for the most part nothing really bothers me and, and a lot of things actually humors me so when I saw this one I did not take any offense to it I thought it was the funniest thing in fact I even uh, told Michael hey you should have put a like an ATM card or a credit card in his hand because who uses cash anymore so Michael I just want to say thank you uh, for making that comic strip I really liked it a lot honestly that's why I wanted to feature it in my small youtuber shout out video so you guys if you guys can go shoot Michael Mola subscribe on YouTube his YouTube channel is Moke M-O-K-E TV and like I said I'll provide the link down at the bottom without further ado guys let's get on to today's education video for the little kiddos because I know I got some young guys out here and I just wanted to take the time to make sure that I'm recognizing all my fans all my new fans all my current fans so I want to make sure that I did a video just for the little ones today so without further ado let's get into it <laughs> on today's video I thought it would be a good idea to take a look at this little book this book is called fly guy vs the fly swatter it is by Ted Arnold It is a scholastics book my son actually likes this author Ted Arnold t-ball he really likes these books so when I saw this book I figured I'd pick it up it's a four dollar book used library book and I thought it'd be cool to read a couple pages right here on my YouTube channel for all my current and new friends um, like I said, the age demographic is all over the place, which is good because I always love it when little guys are wearing their hats and they're supporting their teams. So I want to make sure I give a little love to them. And let's go on. So Fly Guy vs. The Fly Swatter by Ted Arnold. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. And Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Check that out. If you guys want to pause it at that time to actually look at the page go for it I appreciate it also while you are pausing it make sure you hit that subscribe button hit your notifications so you get notified when I upload my next video like how I did that pretty good huh chapter one don't worry we're not gonna read the whole book but I am gonna read a couple pages one day fly guy was eating breakfast in Buzz's backpack yum Z there you go he's eating food in his backpack Buzz grabbed his backpack and went to school. Just gotta go to school, everybody. Make sure you go to school, learn your ABDs. You don't wanna be like me. At school, Fly Guy flew out. Surprise! Then the teacher said, we are going on a field trip today to tour a factory. Oh, that's gonna be exciting. What is it, disliked weeb? What is it now? Major League Hats. Where's the damn hat? I don't want to see you read a book. I want to see the hat. Have some patience, disliked dweeb. Montgomery, dude, this is getting annoying that you keep interrupting me in the middle of my videos. Let me just read a couple more pages. Fine, but if this video doesn't get any better, I'm going to push the dislike dweeb. And I'm going to make sure that Mike comes over from Hatter's channel and puts the thumbs down too. So get on with it already. 
You see guys, you see what kind of pressure I'm up against, man. I got Dislike Dweeb, I got Mike from Hatter's channel coming over here and disliking my videos. If you guys don't know who Mike is, go check out Professor Hatter's channel. He's an intern. He's not a very good intern, but apparently Montgomery has recruited him to dislike my videos now. So now I got two official Dislike Dweebs. So, alright, a couple more pages. Relax, relax. We're going to skip a little bit ahead already. Looks like they're going to go on the field trip. They get on the bus. Oh, they arrive at the factory. And, of course, it's the Fly Swatter Factory. All right, skip a little bit of a head. The tour guy said, here's our Fly Museum. They got, like, a, a first fly swatter, which is the hand display, a fly swatter bat, a caveman fly swatter, a digital eye swatter, and a royal fly swatter. So check that out. They go through the whole factory checking everything out. Now, said the guide, here is the Fred the Fly to tell you more. Fly guy peeked out. Boys and girls, said Fred, we know flies play in slime. Fly guy nodded. He knows that they play in slime. Flies eat garbage. Fly guy smile. Mmm, garbage. Mm, 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 mm. Flies are nasty. Fly guy gets mad. <laughs> All right, that's why, boys and girls, Fred the Fly shouted, we need the fly swatter of the future, the super swatter 6,000. Oh, shit. The fly guy's in trouble now, boys and girls. All right. What is a dislike dweeb? What are you talking about? Sorry, guys. You can't hear uh, dislike dweeb. Apparently, he's yelling at me about a hat. Dang it, Major League Hats. What is this? I thought this was a hat channel. Where's the damn hat? Okay, sorry, guys. I guess uh, Dislike Dweeb Montgomery and Mike do not like the book reading, but uh, they did give me a good idea. So I'll go with their idea because that is what everybody's here for. So without further ado, let's check out the hat. And the hat is BAM! It's the Midland Mata Moscas! It is the 2019 Fun Cup Series. If you guys do not know, the Midland Mata Moscas, it's the double-A team of the Oakland A's, the Midland Rock Hounds. This thing is freaking sweet. So we are going to take a closer look. But before we do, just so you guys know, the Mata Moscas is basically translation into fly swatter. So they thought this would be a cool Mexican-Hispanic day heritage type hat for the Fun Cup Series. Now, I kind of agree with them, and I kind of think it's kind of bad. But I kind of agree with them because I can't tell you. I'm just being honest with you guys. I didn't grow up with a lot of money or a lot of activities. I wasn't playing on travel and baseball teams or basketball teams or anything like that. I literally spent my summers chasing flies around the house for fun. With the fly swatter sometimes, with the newspaper, with my hand. I can't stand flies even to this day. I hate flies flies so when this hat was dropped during the fun cup series for this year i thought it was the coolest hat in the world because i hate flies between flies and ants those are like they make my skin just crawl it's like the hair stands up and i just cannot stand flies or ants so when they came out with this hat i'm like yes awesome so let's take a look at the midland mata mosca's hat all right, so as you guys can see, the the fly swatter has like a little bit of a funness about him. I'm not really crazy about the details on the fly swatter itself. I mean, I could have been okay with just, you know, a typical like smiling face, some eyes and stuff, but I'm just not really seeing like the fly swatter type design. So I'm not necessarily crazy about all this going on. You guys let me know. It doesn't really look like a fly swatter. I do like how the little handle right here is curved and it's bent. But, you know, I kind of would have liked it to be straighter because when was the last time you guys used a fly swatter that was bent? I mean, unless you take a wild whack, it's not going to be bent. Then they have some nice light blue behind the fly swatter and also making it look like that it's being flown through the air. You got what looks like a little fly right there about to get smacked. You got your light blue eyelets. This is a two panel colored style hat. So you got your white panel right here. You got your light blue panel right there. And then on the back you have your lime green, your navy and white Jackie Robinson little guy. On the side you have your lime green new era flag. 
and you have a lime green button which i really like a lot and of course the bill is lime green underneath it's all black black sweatband 758s of course made in my favorite place of china my second favorite place as you guys know bangladesh number one bangladesh bangladesh just kidding guys come on man loosen up have some fun all right and made out of 100% polyester. The only thing that, you know, if I want to critique anything is I really would have liked if they would have continued the lime green underneath the bill. I think it would just look a lot better to have this all one color instead of just go lime green and black. You guys let me know what you guys think. I think this hat is actually really cool. I won't say it's going to get a lot of wears. I definitely will wear it because it, it's just kind of, it's a fun color. So it's not really something you can wear every day. If you are into the uh, Fun Cup series for the 2019, I would definitely be picking this one up. I feel like this one could potentially be in the top 10 of the 2019 Fun Cup series. I'm not sure I am going to do my top 10 of the Fun Cup series, so we'll see if this makes it in. I don't have the complete set, but I'm gonna do it out of the hats that I have. So I have about 40 of the Fun Cup series hats. So we'll see if this makes the top 10. You guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section i would greatly appreciate it all right you guys thank you for watching let me know what you guys think of the hat if you guys want to follow me on twitter and instagram you can do that at major league hats with the z and of course big shout out to moke tv please go and give them a subscribe i really enjoyed the comic it's really great so michael thank you for doing that i have a patreon page if you guys are ever interested in nominating a hat for review just go check out my patreon page my link is down in the bottom all right you guys thank you for watching this is major league hats out bye everybody see ya